Fabrizio Romano, who joins us live from Milan. Fabrizio, great to see you. I guess really there's only one place to start. We've just been telling our viewers that Harry Kane has failed to turn up to training today. Manchester City wants him. Do you think that this is a deal that will get done this summer? First of all, congrats for the news. It's been a big one and it's 100% confirmed. So, Eric Kane's situation is now really tense between Tottenham and player and player camp. So, I expect some complicated weeks ahead because the situation is really, really tense. From what I'm told, Tottenham fans are still the same. They are convinced that Eric Kane will end up playing for Tottenham this season. But I know that Manchester City, as you are saying, they are really prepared to come again in the race and try again for Eric Kane after uh, one million pounds more than one month ago. So the situation is really tense. I think this week will be clear. Uh, everything will be clear because Tottenham need to take a position, but Manchester City are ready to deal if Tottenham change their position and hope Harry Kane to leave. So I think they have chances to, see, to sign Harry Kane, but this week will be key to understand what's going to happen. So Spurs very much in the news at the moment. Let's talk about a potential incoming, though, at White Hart Lane. Christian Romero from Atalanta. What do you know about this one? Yes, Tottenham on Friday made an official bid to Atalanta. It was an approved bid around 50 million euro. So they are convinced that this is the perfect bid to sign this player and they are not prepared to offer more than this. So they are optimistic. But at the moment, Atalanta have not accepted yet this proposal. Tottenham think just because they are looking for the replacement before selling Christian Romero. Today, the player is back on training with Atalanta and he's going to talk directly with the manager Gasperini, with the board. He's going to tell them that he wants to join Tottenham. Christian Romero only wants to go to Tottenham and let's see if Atalanta today or maybe tomorrow will accept the proposal from Spurs. The player hopes yes, he's pushing to go to Tottenham, but Tottenham are waiting for Atalanta to give the green light. So they are optimistic, but now they we need to wait to see if Atalanta will accept this proposal. Talk of Harry Kane going to Manchester City, another player that we potentially expect to be joining Manchester City as well, Jack Grealish. We've reported that a hundred million pounds bid has been made and would be accepted by Aston Villa. What's your understanding of this potential deal? Yes, the situation on this one is really particular because, to be honest, I'm told that this week it has to be decided. If Manchester City are not signing Jack Grealish this week, he's prepared to sign a new deal with Aston Villa. So timing will be so important for Manchester City this week on Jack Grealish deal, but also on Eric Kane, as we said. So I think they need to take a decision in the next few days to lead the deal for Jack Grealish or to live in a new contract with Aston Villa. Uh, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the next hours because I'm also, also the player is waiting to see what happens between the two clubs if everything will be completed with the two clubs and they have a contract ready for Jack Grealish from Manchester City but it's the same for Aston Villa. So it's a standby moment but I think in the coming hours the situation will be clear and I expect Manchester City to continue pushing because they are really confident and we're really confident during the weekend. Now it's time to complete it. Brilliant. Fabrizio says stand by. So stand by. Something could happen on that deal there. Let's go move across from the uh, blue half of Manchester to the red half. They've already signed Jadon Sancho and they look like they're going to be getting Rafael, Rafael Varane as well. How close is this deal to being completed? Yes, it's almost done. It's almost done. From what I told today, Rafael Varane will be in Manchester. He's going to England today and then he to quarantine for some days and then having his medical and signing his contract for four years as new Manchester United players with the option to extend till 2026. So everything has been completed. Uh, it's just a matter of days to do everything by the official point of view and then to announce the player as new Manchester United signing. But it's just a matter of time. Rafael Varane is a Manchester United player and he's just buzzing to join Manchester United. He really wanted this move, not about the money, not about the contract, but he wanted to try something new and Manchester United have been really fast to complete everything with Real Madrid. So just a matter of time then before Varane is confirmed at Manchester United. To the uh, Champions League winners now, Fabrizio Chelsea. They want Jules Kunde. Can you see them signing him? I would say yes, because Tottenham, uh, sorry, Chelsea are really, really pushing for uh, Jules Kunde. Tottenham wanted the player. They had an agreement in place with Sevilla, but the player wants to play Champions League football. And that's why now Chelsea are absolutely leading the race. They are from runners for Kunde. And the player has an agreement on personal terms with Chelsea. So it's just a matter of days to understand if Sevilla will accept the proposal from Chelsea. They offered around 30, 35 million euro and Kurt Zuma as part of the deal. Sevilla want more than this, around 45 million euro and Kurt Zuma. We will see if they can find an agreement with, with Zuma or without the player and just including money. Uh, so they are negotiating on this, but it's the priority now for Chelsea as centre-back. And I think they will try and try again this week because also Kunde wants to join Chelsea. 
That's another one to watch. There's 29 days to go, 10 hours or so. We've still got a little bit of time to get some deals done. Do you think there'll be a standout deal or is there one club that we should be paying particular attention to? I'm curious to see what happens with Liverpool because they signed Konate, who is a top centre-back in my opinion, and they signed him like in April and May, so that's why now the situation seems a bit different for France. But I think that during the window maybe something could happen. I don't expect something incredible or something like top of names, but something surprising could happen. Like if they sell some player, Shakiri, Origi, let's see what happens with other players. Maybe they sign a new striker this summer. And also, let's see what happens for the midfield, because they lost by now to play lost Marco Gruic, and so they are looking at opportunities in August for the, the potential new signing. So I will keep an eye on Thank you very much, Fabrizio. Thank you, as always.